And now to a Team 10 investigation. Many of us use plastic bags with the recycling symbol on it. But now a nationwide joint investigation with ABC News found some of them may not be getting recycled at all. The United States is the number one producer of plastic waste. Virtually none of that gets recycled. Team 10's Melissa Masiha has been digging into what happens to these bags and shows us the new action being taken following our results. These are a common sight if you're out and about shopping. So how often do you use these plastic bags? Um, this is the first time in several months. Every time I come shopping. California adopted the country's first statewide ban on single-use plastic bags in 2014. Voters reinforced that in 2016, voting yes on Prop 67. That's how these thicker, reusable bags you pay 10 cents for came to be. Many of these bags have that famous recycling symbol on them. Would it surprise you if I told you a lot of these, we found a lot of these end up in the landfills? I kind of knew that. I have no doubt. The path for where these bags ended up was part of our months-long investigation. ABC News, along with nine of our affiliates and own stations across the country, assembled bundles of recyclable plastic bags, each containing a tracking device attached securely inside. Gorilla glue. Make sure we put enough of it. All right. I put mine together on February 21st. Yes, this thing is glued pretty tight. Glued pretty solid in there. Our teams fanned out across 10 states, dropping them off at two of America's biggest retailers, Walmart and Target. Both have hundreds of stores with bins labeled for plastic bag recycling. I dropped off my bag bundles at the East Lake Target, the Target in Mission Valley, and the Walmart in San Diego on College Avenue. After the drop-offs, we spent months monitoring each tracker's location multiple times a day, the trackers pinging whenever near a digital device. We thoroughly researched each location on the way to ask if they use any type of metal detection to sort plastic bags. The tracking device in the Eastlake store never pinged outside of the store. The one in Mission Valley last definitively tracked to the landfill in Santee in early March. And the one from Walmart last pinged to the Miramar landfill. In all, we launched 46 trackers, 23 of them last pinged at landfills or trash incinerators. Seven last stopped pinging at transfer stations that don't recycle or sort plastic bags. Six last pinged at the store they were dropped off and haven't been heard from in months. For three others, we can't definitively say where they ended up. And three trackers were shipped to the other side of the world, two showing up in Malaysia, another went from New York to Indonesia. All places with plenty of plastic problems of their own, according to Judith Ang, a former EPA regional administrator. It's called the plastic waste trade. It's the wild west of exporting plastics, and it's causing real damage. You may be wondering if any of our trackers last pinged from facilities here in the U.S. who say they're involved with plastic bag recycling. The answer is only four did. That doesn't surprise so Jandell. These companies have to stop lying with these recycle symbols because they're causing real harm. Jan is a former chemical engineer and founded the nonprofit The Last Beach Cleanup. She also deployed trackers late last year, 13 in plastic bags. All of them went to landfill. Yeah. When it comes to these bags. It's often deceptive and misleading advertising. It should be stopped. Under SB 270, reusable plastic bags sold in California must be recyclable in the state. If it's not being followed, that's a problem. In order for the plastic bag companies to legally sell bags in California, the state's top law enforcer, Attorney General Rob Bonta, said there must be work in collection systems, processing infrastructure, and markets to support their recycling. To date, plastic manufacturers have not made efforts to ensure these components exist. We think that the liability and the responsibility lies with the manufacturers. That's how the law reads. If they're going to sell a, a, a product and make representations about its, um, the fact that it's being recycled, it has to be true. And if it's not happening, they can create the infrastructure, invest in the infrastructure for that to be true. Late last year, the AG announced an investigation into plastic bag companies. These letters sent to six manufacturers asking for evidence they're following law. But they can't just sit back and say someone else has to do it um, or that these are recyclable, although not actually being recycled. Republic Services operates the landfill in Santee, where one of the trackers pinged to. Their spokesperson was clear, plastic bags and other flexible plastics should be placed in the trash. 
That's because it said the plastic bags are a significant contaminant at our compost facilities. A state commission found the bags hurt curbside recycling systems by clogging machinery. It reported there is not a comprehensive store take back system for plastic bags or film in California. The city of San Diego runs the Miramar landfill where the Walmart tracker pinged to. When I asked if the city requires recycling of plastic bags from retailers, the response was plastic bag recycling is required by state law. There is a recycling center in front of the landfill operated through the city. The spokesperson confirmed that it also does not accept plastic bags. Both Walmart and Target refused on camera interviews. A Target statement said in part the retailer's intention is to make it easy for our guests to recycle clean and empty plastic bags and packaging in our stores. Last year, Target recycled nearly 24 million pounds of plastic bags and plastic film materials. Walmart also emphasized its in-store recycling bins for plastic bags and says they are working with policymakers, waste management companies, nonprofits, and other retailers to reduce demand for single-use plastic bags. Walmart said it's removed over 2 billion single-use bags from circulation. Neither retailer answered specifics on how trackers ended up in landfills. After learning about what we observed using our trackers and just hours before our ABC joint investigation aired, the research company that manages the online drop-off directory told us they are removing all Walmarts and Targets from their list until they can confirm that their stored drop-off film and bag material is being recycled rather than landfilled or incinerated. Does it appear that our recycling system here in California is broken? Broken? Um, I would say in incomplete. Um, not manifest uh, at this time in, uh, in need of, of build out and work. As we build out and work, like the AG says, to improve recycling, Jan says a solution in the meantime. Just try to avoid all of these sort of single use plastics. A city of San Diego spokesperson said the real solution is to use reusable cloth bags. I reached out to the plastic bag companies under investigation. Only one got back to me saying they submitted information already to the AG. Now you can stream the full ABC News investigation, Trash, the Secret Life of Plastic Recycling, at 9.30 tonight on ABC News Live and later on Hulu. And can we think the one thing that we all agree on is that there is so much improvement mm -hmm. that needs to be made when it comes to recycling and that there are so many players involved to make sure this all works. It was incredible reporting and now we are all knowledgeable and we can make better decisions. That was great. Thank you, Melissa.